guys, welcome to Atari 37. Today I'm reviewing this, which is the Young Nick Fury from the Captain Marvel Marvel Legends uh, Kree Century Wave, and this is pretty cool. We have Build a Figure Kree Century, we've got the Captain Marvel movie logo, Legend series, nice cool reviewing box. We have Captain Marvel's movie logo and Nick Fury. And uh, something that I think uh, is kind of interesting is if you remember the Spider Man uh, PS4 figure from last year, how it had the plastic as like a little cover that wasn't attached to the packaging, they've done that again for this. And apparently they're doing it for the Kingpin Wave too. So that's a new thing they're doing. Um, that's pretty cool, kind of weird. I love this artwork though. Um, it looks really good. It almost looks more like a promotional picture because it actually looks like the actor. A lot of times they'll just do artwork, but this actually looks like Samuel L. Jackson. And the work they're doing with the CGI to make him look younger looks amazing in the film as well. I also love the different colors in the background. And then this picture back here is awesome. You can see what kind of looks like the earth in the background there. Uh, the big picture shot of him. Then we have a bio for him. And we have the other characters in Wave and a look at the Cree Century. So yeah, let's open this up. So oh, here we have Nick Fury, and I wasn't super pumped about this figure just because, you know, he's in a suit, and I thought they might just be doing this as a release and stuff, but, you know, they did add more movie uh, characters to the toy line, like the Star Force, the Binary, and then the one with her jacket, as opposed to what was originally announced. So overall, I don't mind it, and I've actually kind of really started liking this thing, too. It looks really cool, and, you know, there's just so much you can do with this in your collection, being Nick Fury when he's younger. Like, so many, like, things you can do. If you do, like, an action figure series on YouTube or something, you can make so many, like, just episodes or something, like, with him being younger. Like, there's so much, like, stuff that you can do with this, and it has a lot of potential. It also does seem to be a different suit body from the ones that have previously been seen released, but I'm not completely sure about that. Uh, but right off the bat, I just love the head. It looks so much like Samuel L. Jackson. They did a really, really good job with this. The print's nice. They got the green eyes, which look cool. And you can also see the hair. Just everything about this head sculpt is perfect. This is probably one of the best head sculpts that they've done in a really long time. And that new print technology just looks amazing with it. And I like the suit, too. You can kind of see how it's opened up a little bit and how the tie is. It looks pretty nice. And then it's got some nice designs over here. And you can see this crease and wrinkle sort of effect that goes around on the arms. That looks pretty cool. It's got some at the shoulders and the back here. You can see this little line going down. And then more of that crease and wrinkle down here. And just some more little lines and stuff. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. And I absolutely love these shoes. These look really good. They look like awesome, you know, as opposed to like standard shoes. They just look really cool and uh, really neat. So yeah, in terms of articulation, you got a free 60 at the head. You can look up and down. It's on a ball joint. And uh, it also moves so you got a 360 at the arms as well they swing out the shoulder it's got a 360 at the <coughs> bicep double jointed elbows 360 at the wrist and they're on hinges 360 at the torso and uh, you have an ab crunch and then the legs come forwards backwards and outwards 360 at the thigh double jointed knees they're a little stiff though and the feet move up and down and are pivoting too so that's pretty cool for accessories you get this little gun accessory which is pretty cool it might be one they've done before i'm not really sure but it looks pretty neat so um yeah <clears throat> and that fits into his hand over here you could probably put in this hand but this one sculpted a little bit better and that's for the second accessory which is kind of the one that everybody's been talking about and that's goose the cat but he's in handcuffs and it just looks weird you know i think a lot of times when marvel does weird things whether it be like with their toys or just like in trailers and stuff, everybody's kind of, you know, just curious about it. And we eventually can kind of figure out what it is a little bit. But this has got to be one of the weirdest things Marvel has ever done. And um, it's going to be kind of weird in the movie. But, you know, in the comics, I think her cat is like an alien or something. So maybe like the cat's evil. Maybe it's the main villain. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of cool. And it's, it's kind of weird, but kind of cool. It's one of those weird, cool things. The paint on him is very nice. If you notice, it's darker and lighter in some places, and you can see the little cat handcuffs and the little cat arm cuffs. Like, I'm surprised Shield even has these. That's kind of weird, to be honest. But yeah, and then it's got some eye paint, which is nice, and you can see the little uh, nozzle thing, which is kind of sad, to be honest. And um, yeah, and you know, maybe like the cat's like something like Rocket in the film. Maybe they're gonna tie Guardians into it. I'm not really sure, but it's kind of got this little handle area just so the other characters can hold it. Again, it's honestly kind of weird, but the same time it's kind of cool and uh yeah so overall i really like this action figure like i said i didn't really like it when it was first announced but it's grown on me and it's definitely worth picking up 
The Goose the Cat, the accessory, is kind of weird, to be honest, but also kind of cool. Again, maybe it just has something, like, you know, maybe it's one of those things where you're going to have to see the movie before you really understand it. Um, the gun accessory is neat, and uh, just really quickly to show you a comparison with the Nick Fury from the Toys R Us exclusive Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. free pack. As you can see, they did a really good job with it, and we have the younger and the older, and I think it looks really nice and definitely cool, especially if you own this one to have beside the younger one. And like I said, there's just so much you can do with this and definitely worth picking up. So if you're watching, please rate, like, and subscribe.